How you doing? You right? I'm doing, man. Um, cool. Just uh, start off with um, how much of a gamer are you, uh, and do you play 2K much at the moment? Uh, not that much of a gamer. You know, I um, play every now and then. I play 2K a lot. Um, I play some other other games as well. Um, I'm playing 2K for so I can remember. I actually won a 2K tournament in high school. Yeah. You know. Uh, but it wasn't like full gameplay, like yeah. two minutes, you know, so just, it was a lot of people playing, so yeah. um, I'll be playing 2K for a while. Oh, very cool. Um, do you know your uh, your rating for this year yet? And if so, uh, what do you think about it? Nah, I don't know. You don't know? What, do you, what do you think it should be? Uh, 50. 50? <laughs> okay, yeah, modest. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I mean, it's a game, you know, you can't really get too hyped up, you yeah. know, and overworked about, you know, a rating. Yeah. Um, you made the the transition from uh, from college to NBA seemed you know seamless like easy uh, was it easier or, or more difficult than you thought and also what do you think about um, the rule about players not being able to go from high school to the NBA yeah it was definitely difficult you know um, you know the pace of the game you know, the physicality level you know all that rises you know and uh, when you're in high school when you're in college and you're playing you know there's plenty of guys who you know at max three years older than you you know here you play guys like 10 years 11 years older than you you know mm -hmm. um, a lot more wisdom about the game so um, you know they have a big advantage on you you know and um, about the whole you know going from high school to the, to the NBA you know I think you know if you're ready you're ready you know um, you know a lot of guys don't go to college you know just to get that college experience you know that's fun playing you know with you know um, you know, college university, college program. So, um, I think it depends on if you're ready or not. Okay, cool. Um, just a, a more sort of general question for yourself. Um, what is your, what was your motivation? And what sort of drove you to become the player you are today? Um, I love the game of basketball. I kind of been around basketball my whole life. Um, uncle had the gym. My cousins play. He played. You know, family members play. So, it was kind of like I was thrown into the fire, you know, like you had to play ball, mm -hmm. you know, and I love it, you know, so, um, you know, uh, I just always fell in love, you know, I made a bath in my hands when I was three years old, so um, I think, you know, just seeing guys playing the NBA, you know, on, you know, mm -hmm. video games and all that, just, you know, just something where I always wanted to be. Right, right. Um, so, uh, I heard on a podcast, on a Grantland podcast, actually, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, uh, he said that his 2010 team would no. beat your 2011 team. What no. do you think about that? 2012. Yeah. Um, no. 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 I don't, they have no chance. <laughs> but we had the upper. We had the upper hand already because we won a national title. And they did. Right. Okay. Uh, what's it been like being a teammate of his? Uh, oh, it's great. You know, he's a great player. You know, he had a lot of love for the game, a lot of passion. You know, um, he definitely can score the ball, defend, you know, rebound. So and he's a great player. You know, everybody on the team loves him. You know. Um, you know, and he get this, you know, persona of being, you know, to Marcus, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, outside of that, you know, he's a real cool guy, so, uh, yeah. you know, um, but guys, guys, guys love hanging around and playing, playing with him, you know, being a great teammate. Okay. Um, what do you, what do you most like or, or dislike about the international game, the FIBA game, uh, as opposed to the, the NBA game? Um, I think... It's kind of different that you uh, can knock the ball off the rim, you know, especially right. um, you trying to get going and the ball bouncing around is going to go in and then they knock it off. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't, you can't really, you know, kind of get that rhythm, you know, uh, especially when the shot is going to go in. So I think that's the, that's the biggest difference um, than the lead. And of course, the three seconds, you know, that kind of helps me out because you know, I like to block shots. So mm -hmm. um, being able to camp out in the lane, you know, and, be able to go block somebody's shot without worrying about it. Oh, I had to clean it myself. You know, I could stay in there all day. W would you want to see that rule of tipping it off the off the basket in the NBA? And if you did see that rule put in the NBA, how many blocks per game would you average? <laughs> uh, me personally, I wouldn't want to see that. Um, but if, if it was, uh, I don't know. I mean, it'll be, it'll be a high number. I mean, because I mean, you can knock it off the rim and count as a block, you know. So, um, but you got to get accustomed to it. You know, I'm, I'm not even really accustomed to it over here, you know, because I'm thinking, oh, you can't knock the ball off the rim. You know, you got to kind of get accustomed to it. So it's going to be a while um, before guys even get accustomed to it yeah. if they put it in the league. Okay, just uh, three kind of quick five questions just to finish. Um, who do you prefer, France or Serbia in the final? Uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. So you, can you guarantee a goal? I'm not going to guarantee anything, but we're going to play our hardest. Okay, okay. Um, and then lastly, um, you're kind of, you know, well-known and renowned for the brow. Uh, have you ever thought about growing out the beard and doing the two? <laughs> no, no. Uh, that's 
it's overdoing it so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I actually haven't. Um, I actually did try to grow all my beer ones, but it took like a month just for like scruff. So <laughs> right. uh, it wasn't for me.